Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode uh, of Daily Prosperity Scriptures. Now, Daily Prosperity Scriptures, it is when we come to look into God's word concerning what God has said concerning our finance. Notice I said our finance. Glory to God. Because all things are, have already been made available for us in Christ. So, by the help of the Spirit, we are looking at one or two scriptures that, uh, concerning financial prosperity. Glory to God. It is God's will for you to, to prosper financially. You have to know that. We need money here. And we have to approach it in God's way. Glory to God. The scripture says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of those things shall be added unto you. Glory to God. So, God is not saying they're going to be taken away from us. He said they're going to be added unto us. And if you notice that place, it's talking about things of life, things that pertain to us here. He wants us to have faith. He said, oh, ye of little faith. So, which means, he doesn't want us to be in a place where we don't know that our Father God cares for us. He doesn't want us to be in a place where we're going to be uh, behaving and acting like the people of the world. Glory to God. Which... All they know is they just got to struggle and struggle and struggle. I mean, thank God for that attitude of, uh, I want to make it. But in Christ, there is a better way for us. Which means, we need to be spiritually smart or be spiritually intelligent. Which means, or be spiritually intelligent or spiritually uh, intelligently diligent. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, Financial prosperity in Christ doesn't mean we are lazy. It doesn't mean that we don't have a job. Glory to God. No, it doesn't. No, 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 no. Glory to God. So, but we need to understand that everything in the kingdom operates by faith. When our heart is rest, is, uh, when our heart has found the word of God and we let our heart rest on God's word, we let our mind stay on God's word, then God is going to lead us in an easy and direct way. Our life is not going to be like unbelievers. Uh, Matthew 6, 32 says, he said, for all these things, the Gentiles seek. All these things, the Gentiles seek. Which means, they, that's what, you know, New Living Translation says, it dominates their mind. That's what dominates their mind. And Jesus is telling us that, look, there is a better way that he can help us. That we can be, he wants us to be successful, quite, quite okay. He wants us to live fine, to have good house, drive car, good cars. He wants us to have that. He's not opposed to that. He, but he just wants us to put his kingdom first. Hallelujah. So that when we put his kingdom force, he's going to lead us by his spirit. He's going to direct us by his angels into where the prosperity that he already made available for us in Christ. Our glory to God. All that Jesus Christ already made available for us through his body and his blood. Glory to God. So he wants us to have that faith in him. And because the kingdom of God operates by faith, so we need to build ourselves in that faith. And faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Glory to God. All right. So our scripture for today is 1 Peter 5, 7. 1 Peter 5, 7. I'm going to read it in amplified, amplified version. Glory to God. And look at what the word of God says here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. See, the word of God says, Casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, anxiety about money, anxiety about material things, Anxiety about oh, I mean, I should be living in a good house. I shouldn't still be 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 living in a one room apartment worth uh, four four family members. No, one room apartment. No, four family members. That's not com that's not comfortable. That's not convenient. God understands that He feels that. Glory to God, He feels that. But God's word is saying we should not be worried about that. We should not be worried about that. Glory to God. Instead, we should cast all of those worries, all of those cares, the care that, oh Lord, I have one bedroom apartment with a family of four or family of five. No, that's not right. Or we don't even have a car and it's so cold. And every time we are going out, man, it's almost like, when well, I just don't want to go out. We will be at the bus station, be waiting for the bus, we are chilling in the cold. Or maybe the heat, you know, or, you know, maybe the heat is just too much where we're waiting for the bus. How wish that we could have a car that, you know, we, from our house to the car and we put on the ac and then we enjoy ourselves we put on the nice music praise and worship music we are worshiping god for the great things for the good things that he has blessed us with yes god the father understands that glory to god he understands that and he wants to meet those needs those needs he doesn't want us to be worried about that he wants us to know that he cares for us hallelujah he understands that but we need to understand that he has the ability 
First of all, we need to understand that he cares for us deeply, that he wants to meet that, that needs, and he has the ability to do it. Glory to God. So knowing that is important. That's why faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we understanding that, putting our hearts on that, let our mind stay on that, then his love, his, his, his love is going to flow into us. Or his power is going to flow into us. Of course, his love welled up and is going to make his, make his power available to meet that need. Notice, he said, casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all, all your concerns, once and for all, on him. For he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Whoa, glory to God, watchfully. Which means, God is thinking about us. He's thinking about watchfully, thinking about us. He's looking at it. Oh, they, a, 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 a new baby is coming to the to, to the family. And they're just in a two-room apartment right now. They already fall in number. Okay. They need a bigger place. They need a bigger house. Okay. God is thinking that. Oh, we need to know that and just say, Lord, I thank you. Um, I receive this bigger new house. I receive this bigger car. I mean, maybe you are just a small car with five people squishing in there. You got a babysitter. I mean, the uh uh, the um, oh, oh man, it's been a while. <laughs> or when we put baby in, all right, we got it there and we just squeeze ourselves in. But what about we get a van in which we have a whole lot of rooms, baby, with his court? I mean, court, I mean, it's a court right now. <laughs> it's been a while, glory to God. You know, our, our, our last born is uh, she's gonna be 17, so it's been a long time, glory to God. All right, now, the what we put baby, baby, babies in, all right, for safety, all right. So cast it, cast it, yeah, cast it, all right, cast it. So we, the cast it is right there. Everybody squeeze themselves, but God wants to make sure that we have big room. So when we now have a van, the baby with him or her in the cast seat, on just one seat, everybody is enjoying, everybody is sitting comfortable. God delights in that, he wants that. Glory to God for you. Think about the people under the Old Testament. They enjoy the best. How much more we under the New Testament? God desire that we enjoy the best. So we should cast all the cares, all the worries on him. Say, Lord, I thank you because you care for me. You will give me this great, great house. You will give me this great money to meet all of the needs. You will make me to be a great blessing even unto others to pay off their car loans. Glory to God. Thank you so much. So I pray over you that your needs are super abundantly met, that no more lack in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The fatherhood nature of God will be real to you and your mind will be at rest. You will know that God cares for you and he watches over you affectionately. See you next time. Amen. And money cometh to you in Jesus' name. Amen.